What is up, people? Dev Sage here, and this is the second part in my Vue.js series. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Vue instance. So, what is a Vue instance? Well, an instance is just an object. So, when we say Vue instance, you can just translate that to mean Vue object. Every Vue application must have at least one Vue instance. And now I'm going to show you how you can create that instance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my external JavaScript file called main.js. I'm going to go here and I'm going to link it with the script tag. And I'm actually going to take these two lines and I'm going to move them down to right below the close of the body. I'm going to save that. I'm going to come over to our main.js and let's create our view instance. So let's say const view, all lowercase, equals new view. Um, so this is our view instance. And when you have a, when you create a view instance, you want to pass in a configuration object to basically tell it, hey, this is how I want you to behave. So let's do that. This is our configuration object. And this object can accept a number of different properties. The first property we need to know about is the L property. Um, so view instances can be attached to HTML DOM elements. That way we can take the data and information from our view instance and inject it into our HTML element. The L property allows us to define which HTML element we want this view instance to be attached to. So for example, if I go over, over to my uh, index.html and let's say I create a div with the ID of app and let's say I want to connect my instance to this element, I'll go, I'll go back over to main.js and I'll pass in the pound sign app just pass in basically the CSS selector for whatever element you want to bind to this instance. So now our view instance is attached to our div. We can now take the information and data from our view instance and inject it inside of our bounded HTML element. So where is this data going to come from? Well, we can pass in another property to our configuration object called data. And this is going to be an object. And um, so data will allow us to define what data we want to use in our view instance. So I could just have a random variable name called, let, let, let's say I had username and I assigned it to be um, devsage. So now what I can do is go over to index.html inside of our bounded uh, view element here I can do double curly braces username like that now let's save that and let's open this up and see what that does so I'm using a program called prepros to open this up because of its a uh, its live server reload feature so there it is we open it up and as you can see we have devsage appearing to the screen here so let's uh let's actually open up our um, inspector here and let's see what's going on let's drag this over here open that over there so what's going on let's see let's open our body and as you can see we have our div with the ID of app as you can see here but instead of having this um, you know curly 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 username uh, we actually substituted that with the value of username that we defined in our component devsage so yeah view can bind to HTML elements and inject or not only inject it's really a binding so whenever we change the value of username here 
the view, the V-I-E-W on the screen should update as well. So let's uh, let's kind of get a and uh, let's let's see how that works. So I can actually access the view component or, or view instance I have here in the console. So if I just do view dot, and then I can access the elements that are attached to this component by just saying, you know, view dot username. And as you can see, we have our uh, predictive text here, and it's registering and it's retrieving that value of def sage. Well, I can update this. And uh, I can make it out to be, uh, I don't know, uh, Traversy Media for those who know that channel. And I can change it. And boom, look what happened. The view updated as well. The V-I-E-W, what displays on our page. So view isn't only injecting values. It's, it's bound to our HTML instance. So whenever we change something in our component or an instance here, we can just automatically re-render the HTML DOM. So that is a little bit about the basics of view instances. Um, if you like this video, leave a like. Have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to upload at least twice a week now. so. You know, I'm trying to push out some more tutorials for you guys, but, uh, yeah, peace.